Hello and welcome. Now in this course, we will focus on different levels of output that you can use with your design creations in Canvas. So as an example, if we were to go into one of our previous designs, we can publish this in different levels of output. You've probably seen that in your drop-down menu. For example, we can look at using print posters, flyers, print invitations, letterheads, postcards, and other features. And we will look at those here. You also may have seen certain features that are only part of the Canva for Work bundle. And because that's a paid level, you may want to see what it's like before you pay for Canva. We will look at them in this course. And then we'll walk through an example of starting with a goal in mind, such as a Pinterest pin, a business card, a Facebook event, and a YouTube thumbnail. And we'll walk through that process to produce the element that we're looking for. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I'll see you in the first video. Welcome back. Now, Canva does have output to business card. And what you may want to do is to use a business card design. And so you can type in business card design here in this area. I'm going to click this button. It's then going to give you access to templates that you can use for a business card. Of course, then you'll be able to use one of the free templates. And you'll have it here in this area for you to be able to edit. What you can then do is you can then click this button that says print business cards. Now, if you don't have that to come up, you'll typically see it available here in your right side menu. We're going to click that link. And you'll see then that you have the ability to have business cards ordered through Canva. What you can also do is you can also just print off your business cards. You're going to come to the second page and then you can click continue. You're then going to be able to edit more your business card and then you'll click continue. Once again, you're going to then do one final edit and then click continue. And you'll then have a PDF proof. You'll then be able to download that PDF proof. You'll then be able to click continue. Canva will make sure then that you have double checked your proof. You'll need to click the disclosure. You'll also need to agree to the terms of use. Once you've done that, you'll then click continue. You'll then want to write in shipping details in order to print off your cards. And then you'll finalize the order to print your cards. You'll notice then that as of the recording of this video, there is specific pricing. You can price for the number of copies that you have. And you'll then be able to place the order with the card that you have on file. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now you can print design for a poster. So for example, if we were to write in poster, you'll see here that there are going to be suggested templates for an 18 inch by 24 inch poster going to click inside of that link. That's going to bring us to our templates that are event posters. We can choose one of these posters and then edit it. So once we've done that, then what we can do is we can come to our link where it says print posters. And then of course we can choose our posters and choose the size. And we can choose how many copies we're going to want of the poster. Once we've chosen our shipping option, we can then click continue. Canva will give us some editing options. We'll then click continue. We'll then remove the white edges and then click continue. We want to make sure that nothing is spilling over into the danger zone. We'll then click continue. We'll then get a PDF proof for us to look at through our browser. We'll then be able to look at our proof in PDF form. We'll then be able to complete our order. We'll then check off the disclosure. And we'll then click continue. We'll then fill in our shipping. And then we can complete our order to have our posters shipped. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now you can also output your content into a flyer. And so what you can do is you can write in 
flyer into the search, you'll see a suggested link. You'll click that link. It's going to bring you into your canvas. What Canva is going to do is it's going to bring you into an area where you're going to have templates that are suggested for you to print off into flyers. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose one of these templates. You would then edit your flyers and then you can click this button that says print flyers. Now obviously you can print this flyer and have it created through Canva, but what you can also do is you can download the document and download it as a standard PDF document. You're going to click this download link. What you're going to do is you're going to print this as a PDF. And you can print this as a high quality multi-page document. Image has premium images. So what we're going to do to walk through this process is we're going to pick a template that does not have premium images. And so basically all you would do is click this download button. Canva is then going to prepare the design and then you're going to have a high quality PDF. You're going to save that PDF to your hard drive. You're then going to open up that PDF. You'll then have it available and all you'll need to do then is you'll need to print it using your color printer. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now you can create and have postcards printed. In order to do that, what you're going to do is write into the search bar. You're going to write in postcard. You'll notice then that the postcards are going to be 5.5 inches by 4.3 inches. You're then going to click into the canvas. You'll then notice that Canva will give you certain templates that you can use as postcards. Some of those templates are going to be free. Others of them are going to be paid. So what we're going to do is we're going to use one of the free templates. And we're then going to click free. And what you'll notice is that there's going to be a front and back to this template. So we're going to add a page and we're going to make the second page the second part of the postcard template. Once we've edited both pages, we're then going to click this button that says print postcards. You can then determine whether you want larger postcards and whether you want single sided or double sided postcards. You'll then select your printing options and your shipping options and you'll then click continue. Once you've determined that the design is what you want, you'll then click continue. You'll then make sure that you don't have any bleeding. You'll then click continue. And you'll then make sure that none of your content is cut off. You'll then click continue. You'll then have your proof to make sure that it is going to be what you want. You'll be able to analyze the proof by PDF. Once you do that, you'll then be able to go back to complete the ordering process. You'll then go through your disclosures, you'll then click continue. And then you'll click continue. And then you'll put in your card that you have on file. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now you can also output to having invitations printed. And so what you can do here is you can go to the search bar. You can write in invitation. And what you'll notice is that you can do an invitation is 14 centimeters by 14 centimeters, or you can do an invitation, which is five inches by seven inches. Now in this case, we're going to choose the first invitation. Of course, what you'll do is you will choose a template You'll then edit it to be what you want it to be. And then you'll go to this area that says print invitations. And what you'll notice is that you're going to be ordering invitations to be sent to you and you can have envelopes done with them also, or you can do the envelopes yourself. You'll then click continue. You'll then go through your image quality and then click continue. You'll then be mindful of your white edges and then you'll click continue. You'll make sure that you don't have any bleeding onto the edges. You'll then click continue. And then your proof will be generated. You'll then want to make sure that you're looking at your proof. You can then verify that your proof is what you want it to be. You'll then click the disclosure. You'll then click continue. And then you'll go through the shipping process. Once you've completed it, you can then confirm using the credit cards you have on file. 
Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now you've seen in different places around your dashboard this button that says upgrade and this will allow you to upgrade to Canva for work which will give you access to other tools to create more designs. So in this case all you would need to do is to click this upgrade button and you'll notice that there are going to be some things that you're going to be able to do such as with the brand kit, the resizing of your designs, to animate your graphics, and then to collaborate with more aspects of some of the content that you have and then to export your designs with a transparent background. We're going to click try it for free for 30 days. You can choose whether you want to have the monthly or yearly option in order to upgrade in 30 days. What you'll do then is you'll write in your card number. Now what you're going to want to be aware of is how many team members you have because you will be paying for them when you upgrade. Once you do that, you'll then have access to seven additional tools, which you will see here in your welcome screen. You'll also see it inside of any canvas design screen where you click the more button. If you scroll down, what you'll see here is you'll see those seven elements that come with Canva for work. It will now review those features in the next videos. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now in this video we're going to work with the Canva for Work resize option. Now let's assume that you are creating a poster design. And so by doing that poster design you're going to pick a certain template. You're going to bring that template into your canvas. And then once you've used the template for the method that you want it's possible that you may want to use it for another format. And so what you're going to want to do is to resize the template. And so basically what the magic resize allows you to do is to take the existing design and make it ready for any of the other formats. So while we have a poster design, it's quite possible that we may want to turn this into a presentation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click this button it says copy and resize. And this allows us to keep our design the way it is as well as to create a resized document. We could just choose to resize the document as is and not make a copy. However, however we are going to keep this design. So we're going to click copy and resize. So what Canva does is it then turns this into a presentation that we can then edit for a different use. And we can do this for as many times as we want. We can go back into the resize area and we can determine that what we want to do with this is we want to turn it into a business card. However, we want to keep our design for our presentation. We don't just want to resize it, we want to copy and resize it. So then Canva goes through the process of turning this into a business card, which we can then use to either print as a business card or present. And that's how you use the magic resize. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, once you have Canva for work, you will then have a fully functioning brand kit. So in other words, you'll be able to go to the brand kit. Once you open up the brand kit, you'll be able to add in more than two colors. Without Canva for work, you can only add two colors to your color palette. So if you have other colors, you can add those colors here in this area. What you also have is you'll have certain font combinations that are suggested. However, you can change those suggested fonts here in this area that you're going to be using with your, your brand logo and all of the other content. In the brand kit, you can also upload a new font. Once you have the font you want, you'll need to confirm with Canva that you have the right to use it. You'll then click the disclosure. You'll then click yes. And then the font will then be uploaded to your brand kit. And you'll have access to it here. You also have access to your logo. So you'll be able to go to your hard drive and pull your logo into your brand kit. Once you have the brand kit, it will belong to your entire team. For example, if you were to create a design, you would then click on the form that you want to use. And if you wanted to choose a color, 
what you're going to see is that your brand colors are going to be there. And the same is going to be true for your entire team. Now, when you are editing your design, if you want to use a logo, all you'll need to do is to go inside of your folder. And what you'll notice is that you have your logos available to you here in your folder. And these are the logos from your brand kit. All you need to do is to click in and you'll be able to add those logos to your image. And when you're working with font in a design, what you can do is you can open up the design and you're going to open up your font. And what you'll notice is that you have your brand fonts here as well as your uploaded fonts. So if you want to change a font to one of your brand fonts, you can do that inside of your menu if you have Canva for work. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, if you have Canva for work, one of the things you can do is you can download your image as a GIF file or animated image. And so to do that, what you do is you'd go to your download area. You're then going to look for the file type. You'll then click on the drop down arrow. You'll then choose animation, which will be enabled because you have Canva for work. And it's in this panel that you can choose your animation style and you'll see them here. And as you click on each one, you can see how the animation is going to perform once the image is created. Once you choose a particular animation style, then you can determine which file format the image is going to be downloaded in. So for example, we can choose that a file format will be MP4, or we can choose that the file format will be animated GIF. In this case, we're going to choose that this is going to be an animated GIF. We're then going to click download. Canva will then prepare the design. You'll then be able to download the image to your hard drive. Once you do that, then what you can do is you can click on the animated image so that you can look at it to see if it meets your specifications. And you'll see that our image is now animated. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. And when you're using Canva for work, you have access to a higher quality of image. If you go to create a design and you choose a specific design, and when you choose that design, if you decide that you want to place images in that design, you would go to Elements. You would then go to your Photos. And what you would do is you would tick this box that says Turn on the Free Filter. And what you'd see then is you then have certain elements that have the Canva crown. And these are all elements that are part of your subscription. Or if you were to do a search, you'll then have the free filter there. You'll also have these images available to you that would not have been available to you if you did not have Canva for work. And of course, they work like all of the other images. You can then use your menu at the top to make adjustments to the image. Now with this element, your entire team would have access to this element as long as they were part of your Canva for Work subscription. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. <clears throat> Welcome back. Now Canva for Work gives you access to design folders. It means then that what you can do is you can take your existing design and store it in a folder for later use. So what we can do here is we can create a separate folder. We can give that folder a name and we can give our team members access. We can give team access to the folder or we can give access to specific individuals. So in this case what we can do is we can say that our entire team can edit what's in this folder. We can then click create and share folder. In order to utilize it, what we would do is make sure that we saved our images or designs with a name. We can then take that image 
we can then move it into the folder that we just created by dragging and dropping it into the folder. This image will then be part of the folder that we created. Now the individual that you're sharing the folder with, they'll need to then open that new folder inside of Canva. That folder then will be part of their folders and it'll be part of their shared folders also. They'll be able then to get access to the image in order to work with it. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, one of the key features with Canva for Work is that you can create content with a transparent background. So, for example, if we were to choose this format and then we were to choose a specific template, you'll notice there that we have a background. Now, one of the things that we can then do is we can then download this content and we can go to our left side menu and we'll then click the download link. And then you'll notice here that what we can do with this image is we can tick off this box. That box has the crown around it, which means that it's part of the Canva for Work program. And to do this, we can then use the PNG file in order to download this image with the transparent background. So we'll click download. Canva will then prepare the design. We'll then get our design on our hard drive and we can then analyze the image. And you'll notice here that the image no longer has the background within it. And it's visible when you compare it to this image on our canvas. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now Canva for Work does give us access to special fonts. So for example, if we were to choose a specific element, and then what we're going to do is we're then going to choose a specific template in order to work with. And if we start with this page, you'll notice that this page has a specific font. And basically we can take the font that we have here and we can change it to any one that we have uploaded to our brand kit. And you'll see here that we have an uploaded font that we can change. We can use that font here in this area. If we want to upload another font, all we'll need to do is to go back to our brand kit. We can then go to this area that says upload new font. That's going to look to our hard drive. You'll then need to do the disclosure and then say yes. And then any other fonts that you want to have available to you. Once you have the fonts in your brand kit, what you can then do is you can go back to your design and then you can begin to alter your font based on the fonts that you have placed into your brand kit. And all you'll need to do then is to go back to your menu. You'll then need to look for your brand fonts and then you can make the change based on the brand fonts that you have uploaded. So Canva for Work does give you access to your brand fonts that you can use at any time when you upload them and you can upload up to 100 different fonts that you find most appropriate. If there comes a time when you need to replace some of the fonts that you have, all you need to do is to go into your uploaded fonts, delete the ones you have so that you can make room for those that you will be using. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, one of the things you can do in Canva is that you can create pins for your Pinterest account. And we are going to do that in this live example. Now, if you already established your connection to Pinterest through Canva, then you'll be able to create your image and then upload direct to Canva. So we're going to do first is we're then going to go inside of our Pinterest image and you're then going to choose a Pinterest graphic. Now the most effective Pinterest graphic tends to be at a two to three ratio. And so Canva does this by default. And so basically what you'll want to do then is you'll want to pick the kind of template that you want to use that best represents how you want to create your pin. You can first do a search for the kind of subject that you're going to want to use. 
And once you do that, what you can do is you can pick one of the templates that'll then be available. Now, one thing you're going to want to note is whether you have a template that has premium images. And so you can do that right away by going to your download button. And you'll notice that this design already has four premium images. So we've now found one that does not have premium images within it. Of course, what we're going to do is we're going to edit our photo to make sure it conveys what we want. We can delete images. We can take other images and move them into position where we want them to be. We can make sure that we're using our own logo by going into our folder, finding our logo, and then adding it to our image. We can size down our logo to make sure it is where we want it to be. We can use our special font. In this case, we have a grouped image. We can ungroup that image so that we can make changes to the font. And we can change the font to one of our uploaded fonts. And that means then that we can size it down. so that we have it where we want it. So basically what you're able to do then is you're able to change the image to be what you want it to be. You're able to add in your image. You could actually change any of the brand colors to this Pinterest image, but let's assume then that you have it the way you want now. What we're now going to do is we're going to share this with other individuals that are working with us on our team. So we're going to click share and then what we're going to do is we're going to make this available inside of our team. And we're going to say that our team now can edit this image. And so we're going to send invites to them. That image then is going to be within your team's design folders where they're shared with them and then they can then work on the document also. their changes will then be noted inside of their canvas and those changes are made in real time inside of your canvas. Once the image is then ready we can then publish to Pinterest and we're going to click this button. Okay so with that thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. In this video we are going to go through the process of designing a business card and getting it ready to order through Canva. Now we're not going to follow through by ordering. If you do have a credit card assigned to your Canva account, you will be able to take your design and make it available to someone to have it created through Canva and have business cards sent to your account. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through this search bar. We're going to type in business card. And then we're going to click on the three by five by two inch business cards. That's going to open up this canvas. What we're going to see are some templates available that we can potentially use. Now, obviously there are going to be free templates and then there are some that are going to be paid. If you don't see the free tag, then you can assume then that it's going to be a paid template. So we're going to choose this card and we're going to do a two-sided business card. So we're going to first click this page, we're then going to add a page, we're then going to click the second page. So now what we need to do is we need to write through some designs. One thing we can do is we can change the background to our brand colors. So in this case, we're going to add in our brand color and we're also going to add it in on the page we are working on. We're then going to add in our logo. And to do that, we're going to go to our folders. We can then go to our logos folder. 
And we have this again because of Canva for work. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this to our canvas. We can then size our logo down and place it where we want. We also have photos available to us as a result of Canva for work. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the free folder. And when we have the crown here, it's an indication that the photos that have this icon there are Canva for work photos. So we can then write in our keyword and we can then add in our photo. We can make changes to the photo by creating a filter. We can also flip the orientation. We can decide to turn the photo into a transparency and make it more opaque in order to be as part of our card. We can change the nature of the text by highlighting the text and then making it our branded text by using our branded fonts. Now, of course, you can work with the design to make it look the way you want. What we've done is we've shown you how to use the functionality. And basically, what you do now is you click this button that says print your business cards. And you can then go through the order process through Canva. Now one thing you can do is you can determine how many cards you want to order at once. So you'll see here you can order up to 2,000 copies of your card in order to make the purchase. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now you can use Canva to set up your Facebook page or event. So for example, if you were to write in Facebook, what you'll see here is that you can have a Facebook event cover. And that's going to be a specific size, 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. You're then going to click Facebook event cover. That's going to open up into this canvas. And you're going to have templates that you can use for your Facebook event cover. And because these are going to be higher resolution, they're going to appear well to get attention for your Facebook event. And so as always, what you're going to want to do is to start with your keyword. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to choose one of the free templates. Now what you can do is you can change the background to one of your brand colors. You can also go to your folders and add in your logo. As we have done in the past, you can change your font to your brand font and your brand font should already be uploaded to your brand kit. And you can add in a previously used image from your elements page. And of course, we can size this element down. And as long as we have it highlighted, we can change the orientation. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download the photo to your hard drive and then re-upload it into your event page on Facebook. So we're going to click the download button and what we're going to do is we're going to choose a file type. In this case, we're going to choose a PNG. We're then going to click download. Canva will prepare our design and then we will download the image. Then what we'll do is we'll then go to Facebook to our event page. And what we're going to do is we're going to click add cover photo. We're then going to grab the photo from our hard drive. We'll then save the image and we'll then be part of our event cover. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Canva also makes available to us 
a posting format for Instagram, and it's going to be a square post 1080 by 1080. We're going to select this design, and that's going to bring us to a canvas that gives us access to templates that are both free and paid. And we're going to choose one of the free templates. What we can do is we can search through our templates, and once we have one we like, we can then select it and bring it into our canvas. Now instead of changing our background, we're just going to filter our background. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to give our background a different tint, and we're going to change our color slightly. We're then going to add in our logo, and we're going to add in our logo from our folders. Once we have our logo in place, we're going to change in our branded fonts. And what we can do is we can then download the image in order to upload it to Instagram. As of the recording of this video, there is no direct integration between Canva and Instagram. So we'll need to download the photo to our hard drive and then upload it to Instagram. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, one of the uses for Canva is that we can create a YouTube thumbnail. And we can do that by first going to the search bar, then typing in YouTube. And you'll see here that we can create a YouTube thumbnail which is 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. We're going to click that link. That's going to bring us into our canvas, and we're going to then have templates that we can use for a thumbnail. And so the best thing to do is going to be to use our keyword, and you'll then see certain thumbnails that you can use that are going to be free, others that are going to be paid. We're going to select one of the free templates. What we can do in this case is we can change to our brand colors, and we can also filter this template. We can change the intensity of the filter, and then we can make adjustments to the color. We can try to flip the orientation, and if we don't like it, we can change it back. What we can then do is we can add in our logo. We can grab it from the folder we get with Canva for work. We're then going to size down our logo. And we're going to add in some text. We're going to change the color of the text. And we're going to look for some free graphics to use with our Canva for Work subscription. And we're going to size down the image that we add. And we're now then ready to create our thumbnail for our YouTube video. Now there is no direct integration between Canva and your YouTube channel. That means then that we will be downloading our photo. And we're going to download it as a PNG file. Canva is going to prepare the design. And we're going to download our image. And we'll then be able to go to our YouTube channel to add in our custom thumbnail. All we'll really need to do then is just save, and then our thumbnail will be part of our YouTube video. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. In conclusion, in this course, 
we've seen various elements of methods for you to be able to output your content. For example, if we go to this drop down menu, we've looked at posters, flyers, invitations, and postcards. We can, in fact, also look at printing t shirts in the very same way that we did all of the other print materials. We also looked at each element of the Canva for Work bundle resizing, the brand kit, animation, images folders are transparent backgrounds and different fonts. And we did live examples of different methods of being able to output content into different formats. Branding and resizing gives us the ability to take one of our existing designs and create other forms. For example, we can take an existing form to create a t-shirt. We can then resize the design and make it available on a t-shirt and we can order in various quantities. We've also looked at how Canva works with teams and we've looked at Canva for work in a way so that you'll be able to tell that this is something that's going to be worth the investment. So with that thanks and I'll see you either in another video or in another course.